Come, that can be resolved. To remain good friends and forget that we have said this. No, I can't. <laughs>
in the war. She was married in my wedding dress and veil. I wanted more from a lamb. And Mr. O'Hara whispered. I'm proud that you push Marion Money in the fine name. Oh, Scarlet. You will come to Atlantis to visit that pretty cat and me. We want to have you so much. We want to know Scarlet's wife better. <laughs> Thin black! If all you can spit, miss the Charles off the camp in Carolina with the other soldiers. Bye. Mr. O'Reilly, your daughter, is to marry Charles. Thin black, Mr. Gerald receives a telegram. Thank you. 
can believe how fast he's grown. Last month I said, 
sailed right into New York Harbor and brought out every order that I made. No prices that climb high, I'll stand the bread and die. To claim war was deleterious to trade. Ridiculous and all sublime. I'll do your smallest bidding. The softest gloves, no real. I'm not mad. Yes, gloves, no feeling. Silks and lace or cap price. Yes, yes, but only at the price. A golden watch, a pearl encrusted pan. I'll satisfy the place when I can. So tell me what's your pleasure and your man. You are a mercenary rascal, just like the Yankees. Mercenary is only another word for far sight. When this war began, I bought up a few thousand pairs of cotton at dirt cheap prices and ran them to England. Now, I've never sold them, but next year, when the English nears have to have cotton, I'll make a dollar a pound. You'll get a dollar a pound when elephants roost in trees.